Hello, Chip. This is Alex Nard again. Today is kind of discovering day because I'm going to talk about this uh, soldering iron, which is a GBHC style. This one is made, is homemade, is not necessarily available on the market. So because I found this uh, kind of handle very useful, I tried to make um, T12 style with this uh, UHA. Yuha uh, Chinese knockoff GBC uh, style uh, because I need those kind of very nice um, soft grip for my daily use of soldering iron. As you can see, I have different soldering iron here, uh, some for microelectronic and uh, uh, also for daily uh, works. But um, my uh, uh, my favorite one is the T12. Uh, chip because T12 chip provides a lot of different chip as you can see here and it's very inexpensive and uh, affordable and uh, it, it can give you uh, a lot of ability for working on uh, uh, different realm and it's very nice absolutely to have those kind of very nice grip and also I, ha I had a request about that because a very short video didn't uh, was not enough apparently to uh, to give some information about how it was made. My purpose with this short video was just to show the um, the comfort with uh, those kind of handle. But so I had a request, so I decided to make a, li a little video to to give a res um, response to the, the people who asked me about this thing. So uh, first of all, you have your uh, soldering handle which is absolutely like that. This one is not the Yuha. Uh, okay, my soldering iron is still uh, working. It's very hot for the moment. So let's uh, put it like that. So if you want just to take an example of this one, this one use um, this one is the T two hundred forty five model. Uh, for knockoff uh, chain as uh, GBC style. This one is a very good uh, knockoff actually. So if you want to make this one, you have you need to have a UR uh, handle, okay, which is uh, a, a knockoff. Also, it's, it, can, it can be provided with uh, those kind of uh, chip, which, which is uh, the little model of this, uh, the, the biggest one. Actually, this is not the biggest one because there is a handle uh, bigger than this one. This this one is the middle, I think, because there is another tip like this one uh, in the same brand. I have it, but uh, I don't want to to show to show to show it here. So uh, okay, the purpose is to use those kind of chip which are absolutely amazing for the price and uh, for working for daily use because sometimes you can you, you can need another kind of soldering iron or soldering chip for another kind of use of course so what you need is to to take your handle like that and remove the foam like this Form here is very important because you have uh, the handle uh, which becomes very hot after a while. So sometimes, because I make a mistake with uh, mine, I will explain uh, the, this uh, to, to further. So um, as you can see here, th there is um, a ring. This ring is the connection bec between this part and this part because I had to cut this part to uh, reach the internals of this soldering uh, handle and to cut here it's because you you can find your okay you can find your soldering chip like that and you can you can make a little math on it and you can see normally it it reach this distance uh, from the tail and uh, so you need to cut a little bit here, okay? You you need to cut to cut here or, or here, okay? So 
to cut and to open your handle, you need you don't need a, a cutter like this because it's not it cannot provide to you a very clean uh, perpendicular cut. You need a tool like this with uh, uh, with uh, which is um, a tube cutter, tube cutter, cylinder cutter. Okay, and uh, cut your handle after opening your handle you need to remove all the connection on it so you need to make a little calculation because you you want your tip coming on your handle until until now until here so the most difficult part is to make some connection here so the connection are made like that. I, I think this is, for the moment, uh, this is the most difficult thing on this project. So how it's made? It's made with some copper tube like that, with, where you can cut with uh, the same um, uh, tube cutter, okay? You cut a very narrow uh, ring, uh, ring for, because you need to make contact with uh, those rings here. So you need both of them okay you need both of them and of course you need to isolate um, and to, you need to immobilize your ring with with uh, some um, tube you need a tube like that okay okay so this one is cut like that because you need the wire can can go out to make the connection with your soldering station so this one is the first it's uh, able to handle the first ring like this and this one this this little tube is open because it needs the the first wire running through the plastic and you and you can see it's made like that okay and because uh, it, it it doesn't need to borrow the borrow the the connection so the the, uh, the other ring is something like that so it it's go here like that okay okay this is the most difficult part i don't want to discourage anyone to make this because you cannot use a classical connection for those tip because the the handle of the GBC style is actually very narrow. You cannot make a classical connection for T12 tip. You need to to build it to build it yourself. So after after opening your handle here, of course, what you need to do is to to make to make the hole bigger and bigger at how much diameter. The diameter you need to use is this one. Is the, the 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 ring coming here is the drill? You need the drill with the same diameter as the, this ring. And actually, this is okay. So I think I don't remember, but okay. I think this is, I think, I'm not sure. Okay, it's called. Okay, as you can see, you need a 6.5 millimeter drill. Okay. And you need to, to make the hole bigger, okay? As long as you found the, the metal from here on the handle, okay? So, because <coughs> when the first ring arrives on the handle, it passes out it through, and the second ring is um, arrive when the second ring arrive on the on this part of metallic. You it need to stuck just here. You can see this just just here. It, it needs just to stuck in this part here, not uh, not deeper, because you need to have your chip like that.
okay if you have your chip like that when you are when you adjust it you will have a lot of heat going in the handle so you need the first string you, you if you can see this first string the first string is going like like that not deeper I don't know if you can see it I'm just going to take my lamp okay well, uh, okay do you see the first ring okay the first ring arrive here just here okay so uh, after taking your marks about this you need to stuck with a uh, with a component glue with the B component glue or super glue you need to 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 take your mark which is absolutely necessarily so and you're with your handle open here after removing all of the connection and the plastic part on it you need to push your iron until you want it to stop because the the point you stop your uh, your chip is the 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 working length of your T12 chip okay if you want a longer chip you need to push forward and if you want to have a shorter chip for working but shorter chip provide a lot of hits on the on the handle you you need to to uh, to 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 pull it uh, backwards okay back uh, backwards okay so this is how you can make this uh, handle and uh, of course after make the connection and uh, okay, you are supposed to know how to connect the t12 and uh, you're supposed to know how to connect the um, vibration sensor you need to connect all of those things here make the connection with the cable also you manage to connect with the soldering uh, with the with the soldering unit and uh, the plug also because this is very very important but you can make it yourself and as you as you are able to understand how is the positive and the negative and how how to connect the switch sensor the most difficult thing is to make those uh, connection of course I use here rings but you can use also uh, a thick uh, copper wire and it, it, can, it can work very nice but I didn't have uh, this one I, I just have uh, some tube and uh, I think this is the most difficult thing uh, to realize because something it's very hard to have a good connection um, according myself I have a very nice connection with uh, with this uh, chip uh, it, I, I didn't uh, manage uh, at the first time to realize it because there was a bad connection. I had to to redo this uh, many times, and uh, so, and of course now if I connect it, it's able to work very. At first glance, I switch on. Okay, this is. Uh, the power is uh, switch on and as you can see what's happened okay no, okay now this that's okay 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 now that's okay sorry as you can see the sometimes there is not a good connection okay okay um but it's uh, it's rare about this uh, this pet connection but uh, it's uh, work very nice uh, uh, currently very nice so so um okay 
the most difficult thing you need to understand is this part, okay? Uh, and uh, you need to understand that there is no room on this handle to make a classical connection, so you need to make it yourself. And this is my idea. If you want to reproduce it, uh, you're welcome. And if you can find another uh, idea to make it more easy, you're welcome also. If you find a good idea, you can tell me in the comments. It was Alexander Ard again. Did you see you soon? Uh, next time I will talk about this little multimeter, which is uh, the cheapest multimeter in the world, about uh, five dollars, and uh, we will uh, see if it's worth to have it uh, on your toolbox at home. See you soon.